What happens when you find an old GameStop gift card and a new game comes out? You get CPR, I mean CTR. Crash Team Racing fucking Nitro Fueled. I don't really talk about it that much, but I am actually a huge fan of the goofy marsupial himself, and after the original trilogy, as well as Spyro Reignited did so well, I was actually looking forward to the remaster of Crash Team Racing which I've never played before. In fact, the only Crash Racing game I have any experience with is the battle mode of Crash Nitro Kart on the Xbox of all things. And I was bad. So since I have a, um, infinitesimal history with the Crash Racing trilogy, I won't be talking too much about changes from the PS1 original, and I'll mostly be sticking to my first four to six hours of Nitro Fuel. Good. Good, all right. Firstly, this game is gorgeous. I did not expect this game to look as good as the Insane Trilogy, but holy hell, it might look even better. There's still the occasional odd lighting issue, but it's nowhere near as noticeable as the Remastered Trilogy. Crash is fucking neon orange, someone help him! And unlike the insanity of Insane, I didn't even notice how this game is only capped at 30 FPS. Yes. 30 FPS. I'm guessing this is due to the chaotic action and how hypnotic the fur can move, but damn, that's impressive, Beanox. Side note, I am not an FPS snob, I just thought this was important to point out. Love you, Vicarious Visions. I also really love the voice acting in this game, from everyone's taunts and grunts to their cutscenes. Oh yeah, did I mention there's a story mode? Yes, CTR and Nitro Fueled include something I'm wanted from Mario Kart for a while, which is a campaign. Because who just still wants to play 150cc cups? There are different kinds of story modes actually, one of which allows you to change your character and car in between races. I chose classic mode however, so it's a bit more true to the original story modes design. Also I chose Dinga Dial, because who doesn't want to be Dinga Dial? Dinga Dinga Dinga! <laughs> I don't have a flamethrower. My dreams are over. And apparently something that was added was that the cutscenes are now animated, which if that's the case is a huge plus because they are amazing to watch. Okay, sometimes it's not. Though, it's a bit weird hearing Uka Uka talk like a jazz musician. You must first collect the required number of relics to race this track. Collect every crystal in the arena before the time runs out. If you collect and hold 10 Wumpa Fruits, you'll be juiced up and your power-up will become more potent. But Ross, how does the game play? I hear you ask. Well, actually that is a good question. And the answer is, it plays phenomenally. It has the basic X to turn up the game. Yes, yes, yes. But almost everything else is different and unique, which is probably why it stood out against Mario Kart when it was released back in the day. I'm old. For example, to drift you press the L1 or R1 while holding left or right, and while you're drifting, you can boost up to three times by pressing the bumper you didn't use before. There are indicators to when you can boost, like when your exhaust turns black, when the meter at the bottom right corner turns red, or when your wheels glow and it's... Ah, oh, I love it. It's also a very risk reward system because you could either come out on top or you could dunk. If I did have a complaint about the controls, it would be how reversing works, but it's easy to adapt to. I also found the power-ups a lot more satisfying to use. Well, minus this green snot potion here. I loved how you could decimate your opponents or you could use your own driving as a strategy to avoid items coming towards you. And that's what I love about CTR. You don't feel like you could just win. It's a challenge. So when you do get past the finish line in first, it feels really good. There are also time trials, CTR races, and crystal hunts, and I had a lot of fun with those. Well, maybe not the CTR ones. Those ones can fuck off. I didn't try battle mostly because I didn't have anyone locally to play it with and I didn't want to take my chances with multiplayer. I think I'm interrupting something. I was actually surprised at how fast loading times were with multiplayer, especially since single players took ages. <sighs> multiplayer is a lot of fun as well and uh, oh. I lost. Well, let's try that. Okay, maybe let's take a pit stop instead. The pit stop is essentially the store where you can get paint jobs, stickers, cards, and characters to use. And what if I told you that you didn't have to pay a single IRL penny? Yes, you heard me correctly. The shop tokens cannot be bought from the store and are earned just by playing, whether it's single player or multiplayer. 
However, the way tokens work is a bit fucked when playing online. Seriously, how did I get this much bank? I came near last place. And that concludes our time with CTR Nitro Fueled. I've been having a great time playing it, and honestly, I prefer it over Mario Kart just a bit. It's easy to pick up, hard to master, and a fantastic time for all. Four and a half out of five Wumpa Fruits. Thanks for watching everyone, and I will see you all in the next video. Also in the PS4 edition, you can get Retro Crash. Ba -da -ba!